There are many things I'm very blessed with and I'm grateful for, but there's especially three main ones that I will list to you right now that are very important, especially in the month of Ramadan. Number one, I'm very grateful for having a family that's very close to me and that whenever I need help, they are there and I can break fast with them whenever I want. The second thing I'm really grateful for is having food accessible to me as soon as I need to break my iftar and that's not something that everyone can relate to, unfortunately. Third thing that I'm really grateful for is having a healthy environment and being a healthy person majority of the times. We take for granted and we realize it only when we feel ill how much it's important, the health that God has given us and having healthcare that's accessible and free to us. My favorite part about Ramadan is definitely Suhoor. There's something so special about knowing that you're waking up in the middle of the night to pray with your uh, family at 4 a.m. and knowing that the rest of the world is sleeping but your brothers and sisters in Islam are also up for the same reason as you. So it brings that sense of community and it's just a magical, magical feeling. So it's my favorite thing ever. For some reason, I'm not a TV series fan, like I don't watch a lot of TV. But in Ramadan, having a lot of free time on your hands if you're not working and not eating, what do you do? You watch TV shows about food. And that's what I did this year with a show called Is It Cake? I just find it so fascinating that people can create cakes that look exactly like objects of real life and you would never tell that they are cakes. I do not personally work out during the month of Ramadan but simply because I'm too busy at work which is a workout itself. I work in a busy restaurant, I'm always around food and it's not tempting actually because my faith is just so strong that you do not think about food like that. So I do work out in a sense by working, serving customers and running around the restaurant but if I did have time I would probably go to the gym and work out because Believe it or not, when you're fasting, you get uh, extra energy, even though you're not eating and not um, drinking. I know, it's crazy, but it's beautiful. My idea of love is definitely giving without expecting anything back. The moment that you give something because you generally want to and you unconditionally love that person, is the best feeling ever if someone really loves you back and it's a family or a partner they will give back that love to you it's not 50 50 it's a hundred percent and a hundred percent so i my love language is given and gifting so that's what love is to me i am a hundred thousand percent a family person anyone that knows me will be able to tell you that not only my friends but even my fans because my first ever song that came out was a featuring with David Guetta and the song was called family family is just so important and family can also mean your best friends that you've known from when you were a little kid it doesn't only mean blood family is who you decide your family to be and it means the world to me If I was to choose between a family trip and a best friend's trip, I would choose a family trip simply because my best friends would literally be considered family and they would come with me in the family trip. So yeah. I just want to say that you guys are not ready for this but right after Ramadan there's gonna be a special single coming out from me and it's called Iftah Elbek and I really love it and I'm just so excited and I hope that you guys like it as much as I do so stay tuned <laughs>